Uh, and I went, uh, went out of the quad biking, but then I couldn't get out of the car. I had just no muscular strength whatsoever. And I, I still, he helped me out the car, and I still tried to clamber upon the quad bike. But then my son Tyrone thought, no, I've had enough of this. He's not well. And phoned Belinda, and um, ER came out and, and looked at me and tested me, and they said, no, this guy's had a stroke. Um, we can't take him to Nell Spray. They haven't got enough uh, facilities. I don't know if that's true. And um, we got to fly him to uh, Mill Park. So that's what happened. They flew me there an hour and a half. And, um, yeah, you get wheeled in and, and had an MRI. They said, oh, well, this brain looks all right. And um, uh, the famous uh, Professor Aesop testing my heart. He didn't know the heart's right. So the search started, uh, Maddie, for the sepsis, um, uh, which I still don't understand for it. So, yeah, it's, it's... Hello, guys. I welcome you to my channel. And I'm sadly here to announce to you the passing of veteran TV host and journalist Derek Watts. He died on Tuesday after a battle with cancer. In June this year, Kate Branch announced that Watts would step away from the camera to focus on his health. He was diagnosed with skin cancer last year, which reportedly spread to his lungs. Earlier this year, he was rushed to ICU after a suspected stroke. Watts is survived by his wife Belinda and children Tyron and Kirsten. Meanwhile, Network 24 said they had received confirmation of Watts' death from his daughter. The publication shared a WhatsApp message from her where she said in quotes, We are shattered. He was the most wonderful person we knew. He always thought of others and last night he said he wanted to thank all his viewers. He appreciated them and loved his job. He at Nice Novia, we send our condolences to his family, friends and fans. May his soul rest in peace.